just didn't see them start with just one slip in the gully. That smashed through the covers. First runs of the day. Michael Burgess, lovely on the back foot punch. Very difficult as a first slip to stand <laughs> in front. <laughs> as Burgess does try to put the pedal down there. It's just an... Bethel uses his feet beautifully. Of the flag. What a lovely shot that is. Oh, Josh Davey, one of the luckiest ballers you'll ever see. And that will be Sam Haynes, 100, a buzzer. <laughs> Five, an overthrow, and Sam Haynes celebrates his 15th first-class century. Whoa, there's a sign of intent. Hassan Ali down the ground and whops Josh Davey into the Triscothic stand. Flicking it back on the rope, leaning back, using their height. And Sam Haynes is gone. Well barred by Jack Leach, good comeback, Sam Haynes. Looking to make room through the offside, looking to cut or back foot punch. Mid-wicket, so Somerset looking to stop as that one swiped and it's gone straight down the throat of that one fielder in the ring, just one player in and around the back. Field completely spread now as Rushworth drives down the ground, it's uppish, Craig Overton is there, he takes the catch comfortably, so that drop catch from Sean Dixon only cost a one run and it didn't cost another batting bonus point. Warwick's innings comes to a close, 392 all out, they finish, they lead by 108 runs. That is an edge to first slip, well bowled Hannon Dolbert, and that is what fielding can do. Try and pick the ball out of the nets. That is another wicket for Oliver Hannon Dolby. Cameron Bancroft has to go LBW for naught. Two ducks for Somerset and a bit of trouble already. Going to be four to Tom Lamavi. Not exactly where I want it to go, but soft enough hands. It does race away. Whatever. Chilly, Tom said. That's another lovely back foot punch. That could be another four. Alex Davies is going to charge across from long off. Another diving stop. Can he make it? No. And there's no puddles underneath it anymore. It might be a soft. Yeah. That is a wicket for Chris Rushworth. Tom Collier Campbell does go. He's had these caught behind appeals. This one, there is no debate to the short side. That's a good shot oh. from Tom Lamavi. Authoritative punch. Good crisp. Sound and connection. Looking to skid one through. He's gone for another boundary, though, off the outside edge of Tom Lamanby. But you have to say, well played. I mean, you don't want to say that early on in the season, but he's done exactly what I said was his weakness. He's fallen over the straight one. The eyes have lit up to the leg side, and that is something Georgie is going to have to get to grips with. Head's fallen over, got outside the line, trying to whip a middle stump delivery. And you just can't do that. Barnard bowling in a pretty good area. Run off the face of the bat, maybe the outer edge. Down to third man. Lamaby moves on to 40. Well, he's changed it up now. Oh, my word. <laughs> Within the next hour. But the first very recently played fine cover drives like that. Could be an exciting hour. Lovely shot, Lewis Gregory. That's 12 off the opening over after T. <laughs> this is not what we expected. Hassan Ali has been expensive the entire match. Work appropriately and right on cue. He's nipped one back through the gate. And bold Lewis Gregory. This game is very much back on. Last session in this four-day game. Got a good bit of field in there. Quite close at sort of backward square leg, leg gully. Renat Brooks needs to put a mask on. He's coughing and spluttering and sneezing away in the background. Well, Tom right, Lamanby has reached his 50, despite Jack Brooks having the coughing fit behind us. Well batted, Tom Lamanby. Where's that gone? Oh, that's gone. Nice. That is a bomb. Yeah, what happened to the Northampton Kent guy? I'll have to check that, I think. Lamanby comes down and whacks one into the Colin Atkinson Pavilion. Hands have been shaken. It probably makes sense if they're not going to be able to bowl the seam bowlers, then just the spinners on. Somerset have rescued a draw.